We are Cindy and Eddie. And this is Squeeze the Day. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Squeeze the Day adventure. I'm Cindy. And I'm Eddie. Today we're going to take you to a night market in Bali. Heard that this is the biggest night market in Bali, so we're kind of curious about what's the excitement, the hype, and we want to take you along with us to explore and find out exactly what's going on. We did get here a little early, so everybody's still doing their setups, and it's not quite night, which kind of helps us out a little bit. The other thing is, we're looking also to get a couple of things for dinner. So right off the bat, we found ourselves in the clothing section. There's some things that I think I would love to buy right now, but we're just gonna stay focused and grab some food tonight. We can always come back another time. Just past where all the clothing stuff, you're gonna start getting into where all the food stuff is. And then we're gonna continue down this way because there's more food that way. Make sure you bring the kids to come and get some corn dogs because they love that and those look really delicious. Baked ice. Add into the bucket. We've seen these before. I'm not really sure what they are, but they are pretty popular. If you know, leave a comment below. If you've watched our Mexico videos, you've seen us try something similar to this in Puerto Morelos. Next, we're gonna try some seafood. Thank you. Did you just eat it all? Yes. I'm just gonna take a bite. I'm gonna take a little bite. That was crispy. Yeah, it's crispy. You have soft shells. It's like a soft shell crab at home. It has a nice tangy sauce with it. It's delicious. Mm. Really good. So you have to definitely want to have a whole bunch of soft shell crab. We should get some of that. How much is that? A container like that's gonna cost 10,000 rupiah. Yeah, it's soft but crunchy. doesn't love balloons. There are a lot of them. Right now Cindy's trying to find the translation on her phone. I'm not so, coming up with it, so I don't know what it is. Taylor Gooling. Taylor Gooling. We know the Taylor part is egg, but I'm not sure about the Gooling. <laughs> So we're just trying to figure that out and it's not coming up. It's something different, but that's part of the experience. You might have to get it just to try it out. This is really piping hot, came fresh out. Um, basically it's just scrambled egg and water and then they put it in a squeeze bottle and then spray it into the hot oil so it fries it up. But because it's stringy like that, they wrap it around the stick just like that. This is one order she split for us, please. She's awesome. All right, so let's try this. Oh, it's very tasty. Now it's Cindy's turn. Really good though, huh? Yeah. Okay, so we stopped by here because we wanted to try one of these corn dogs or hot dogs on a steak. Sausage. They, yeah, they have a bunch of different types and 
I don't know which one to choose because they all look interesting and different. packed up. I'm gonna open it up and try it out. Mayonnaise, hot sauce and ketchup. We'll find out what's inside. Apparently yeah, there might be some mozzarella or definitely a sausage. I don't know but it's very heavy so we're about to find out. It's a whole meal in one. It has mozzarella, french fries, corn dog, and all the sauces. That's really good. My turn. Yep. This was Eddie's choice. Here we go. Let's get in there. On the outside, they have a lot of snacks and stuff Desserts. like that. Yeah, for the kids and smaller things if you just want a quick bite to eat. We're gonna go inside, see what else they have in there. This is where you're gonna get larger meal stuff and they have a lot of other options in here. We stopped here because... They told us the price before we sat down, which was really helpful. We got this drink because it's on the table and we wanted to try it out. Not sure what it is. We'll give it a try though. They also have these. Tea coolers. And then of course, agua. I'm gonna try it. It's tea. It is tea. We're gonna show you a closer look at this label. If you know better than we do of what this is, we'd love to hear it in the comments. Slightly spicy, but very flavorful and delicious. I think I'm gonna enjoy this. Nice. So we're gonna dig in and see you in just a moment. That was absolutely delicious, we destroyed it. But while we've been sitting here looking around, we discovered something. We just made a decision to order a Bobby Bouli, which is about to be here in a moment. We're gonna show you what that is. That's the Bobby Bouli. This is something we've heard a lot about and we see a lot of people eating it, so Looks delicious and we wanted to try it before we left, especially since it's a local dish and we're at a local market. I think there's a couple of different components to this. Of course, it's all centered around a big chunk of rice. Ah, looks so good, doesn't it, Eddie? Yep. Okay, and then of course, some soup on the side. We got the chocolate and cheese. As we heard, that was pretty good, so I'm gonna try it. Oh yeah. Ready? Mmm. Cheese. Nice combination. One last bite. That was certainly delicious, but we're not done yet. There's something else we've been holding out that we want to save for the last. We're heading there next. So the chocolate is those chocolate chimneys that they put on top of it and then they grate some cheese on the other side. So it's going to be chocolate and cheese that we get. Plus sweet the condensed milk to add all the sweetness. We're looking forward to trying that. It's going to be about the same flavor as a crepe. We're trying to get a similar flavor so that we can do a better comparison. <laughs> yeah. why, did, why did we pick the most densely populated <laughs> driving spot to be able to record this? Oh, that's I because that's where he's at. Yeah, that's where he's at. Just be safe when you're ordering this. They use a smaller loaf of bread to cut up to be able to make these desserts, but it's bread. Then they add the different ingredients. You have a lot of choices of flavors. Let me show you what that looks like. As you can see, lots of options. They'll let you know if they're out of something in particular. Now let's watch him make it.
really good. Look at that, it's definitely worth getting. Eddie's fingers are so full of sticky right now, I'm going to be filming myself. There we go. Wow, that is decadent. We might have to get another one of these before we leave Bali. I'm going to have to second that idea. Definitely get another one of those. Folks, that's going to be the end of this video. And our stomachs are stuffed. We really had a great time exploring this market, though. You really should come and check it out for yourselves. We hope you like this video. Make sure you stay tuned. We've got more of Bali coming up, as well as the rest of the world traveling it with you. We decided we wanted to go for a walk after eating all that food, and, well, this area is pretty quiet. Minus that guy. <laughs> Minus that guy, this area is actually pretty quiet. So, we're just going for a little bit of a walk to walk off all those calories. <laughs> so, there's some traffic right there. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.